now. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. Hey guys, I'm Hannah from Elite Nutrition and Performance. I'm the intern here, and I'm also an avid runner. I run for USC, and today I'm going to show you two stretches that are gonna help you um, run smoothly and without pain. So if the next time you go for a run, I recommend checking to see how uneven the surfaces are that you're running on. And I'm not talking about the ups and downs, I'm talking about the horizontal slant that you see on a road where your feet are literally running like this the whole time because the road is slanted upward in one direction or the other. And what this does is it really aggravates your pelvis. Your pelvis really doesn't like this and it'll actually over time cause your pelvis to tilt upward one way or the other. It also really aggravates two of your muscles, one of which is called your quadratus lumborum. So we also just call it QL because we don't like long words. And it's just right back here and it attaches with your pelvis. And then the other one is really deep in your abs, it's called your psoas. And it's really hard to feel, but it's just down in here and it is your, pulls your pelvis on this side. So what happens is you'll have your QL, you know, pulling one way and then your psoas will pull the other and it literally will tilt your pelvis up. Mine has been out by up to two inches before. Um, so what we're trying to do as runners is trying to get our legs back down to an even level because when our pelvis is tilted, we actually have one leg that will look longer than the other. And obviously this is not gonna help you with your running. So I'm gonna show you first a QL stretch. Now all you're gonna do is you can find like a squat rack or I just like a ledge on a wall cause it's easy. And all you're gonna do is the foot closest to the wall, you're gonna kick out. And then the foot further away, you're gonna put into the wall, just like this. So you're crossing your legs, then you're just gonna take your hand and you're just literally going to put the hand that's further away on the wall and you're just gonna bend like this. And you should feel a stretch through your side and in your back. And you just hold this for like, mm, like 10 to 30 seconds and then switch sides. And then the other stretch I'm gonna show you is your psoas stretch. So this is my favorite, my favorite thing to do after I run. You just get down in a deep lunge position. So I'll get to the side so you guys can see this a little better and you're just gonna put one foot out and the other foot back, and you're just gonna lean into it just like this. And you should really feel it through your hip flexor and it's also gonna be hitting your psoas right up in here. And um, that's it, that's psoas stretch. So I'll show it to you on the other side so you get a little bit of a better view. So again, it's in this hip flexor and your psoas right here. Perform these for about 30 seconds each side right after you run and you should be feeling a lot better. Thanks guys, hope to see you at the workshop. If you come, you'll probably learn a lot like this and probably some better stuff too. All right, see ya. <laughs>